Hello, I'm Mud Ayiza, and today we're beginning our community consultation process for the first part of Valamor, The Shining Kingdom. We'll be looking to share more about Perilous Moons, the Fortis Colosseum, and other smaller content over the coming weeks. But for now, let's take our first trip across the plains of the Avium Savannah and set our sights on the Hunter Guild. Our focus with this new guild is to not only introduce new creatures, rewards and areas, but to breathe new life into the underappreciated Hunter content all across Gillanor. So, to start, once you've reached 46 Hunter, you too will be able to call the Hunter Guild your home. But what does this new place offer you? Well, let's start with Hunter's Rumours, the core of how the guild operates. Similar to the Slayer tasks or farming contracts, visiting the underground pub known as the Burrow will allow you to converse with the residents and hunt specific creatures all over the world. Now, you can only have one rumour active at any one time, but don't worry if you don't like your current contract. Simply speak to another hunter for something brand new. Or, if none of the contracts tickle your fancy, then you can reset the lot by taking on and completing a low tier hunt. These will have four tiers which range from 46 all the way to 91 hunter. Whilst you're completing a rumour, hunting your specific creature may grant you with a rare creature part. These can be taken back to a hunter and traded in for bonus XP drops and a loot sack of useful hunter goodies. Some of the brand new hunter related items you can obtain from these loot sacks include blueprints for Quetzal Whistles, the new hunter skilling outfit, and a very rare chance for your own Quetzal pet. Speaking of the skilling outfit, this provides you with a 2.5% catch rate and a 5% increased chance to obtain rare creature parts when wearing the full set. You'll only be able to obtain these uniques at higher tier rumours, so keep that in mind when grinding for your desired items. We go from below the guild to the skies above with the roost. This area contains one of the notable landing zones for the Quetzal Transport Network, which is the fast travel network of Valamor. As a guild member, you'll be gifted a basic Quetzal Whistle, which will give you a teleport to easily access the guild and can be upgraded to eventually hold unlimited charges. As an extra, the Roost also contains an Eagle to allow easy transport to the current Hunter Transport Hub, which we're going to improve by adding a quick travel option to make this transport method a bit nicer to use. From one new creature to a handful of others, let's start with Moths. These are the scaly winged brethren of the humble butterfly and work similar to them too. Not only are we going to give butterflies and moths a level to catch barehanded alongside the normal net and jar method, but moths will buff you and up to three players around you. We're giving you two moths with Valamore part one, the sunlight moth, which will restore six plus 20% of a player's reduced stats, as well as eight hit points, and the moonlight moth, which will restore five plus 10% of a player's level in prayer points. You'll also be able to turn both winged creatures into Hunter's Mixes, a tradable two-dose AoE potion that will give the same effect as the insect used. Antelopes are up next, and their horns are the key item that you'll want. While the Sunlight Antelope's horns can be made into crossbow bolts, the Moonlight Antelopes can be used to upgrade the Hunter's crossbow into a stronger version to use the new bolts. We've got three other creatures that roam the wilds of the kingdom, Jaboas can be caught with a box trap and their tails used to create bolas, whilst fennec foxes can be baited with Joboa tails and a deadfall trap. Finally, the mountain salamander would be the highest tier reptile, and you'll use the new Irritar as ammo. Make sure you've got 80 in attack, ranged and magic though, otherwise you won't be combat ready, unlike your scaly companions. Discovering a new region, of course, comes with local recipes and cooking methods, and some of the ones they use in Volamor unlock a hidden flavour in Hunter Meats. Through the completion of Rumours, you'll unlock a new food type that gives you a chunk of health like fish, but will give you an additional amount of healing a while later. Let's give you an example. Where sharks would instantly heal 20 hit points, while dashing kebits, which would be the Hunter equivalent, would heal an initial 15 hit points and then a further 8 hit points after X amount of ticks. You'll also not be able to eat another piece of hunter meat until all of the healing has been applied, but you will still be able to combo eat hunter meat with carambrans and brews. Alongside new creatures, we want to further expand what you can do with the parts obtained from hunting them. This includes a new armour set and a new type of weapon. So let's start with the mixed hide gear. 
Needing 50 defense and 60 ranged, and made from various hunter pelts, this set is a ranged melee hybrid that gives you a welcome defensive advantage, some significant strength-based range gains, and a slight increase to stab accuracy. These combo really well with the current spiky vambraces and the new weapon we're introducing, the bolas. These are a new consumable ranged weapon that utilizes the strength of the wielder. Not only are they a great alternative weapon, but they come with a special attack that allows you to snare your opponent. This snare scales on your hunter level to a maximum of 15 ticks at 99 hunter. Although, if your target is prey in range when using this special, it will be completely negated. Finally, let's talk about improving existing hunter content. The crossbow upgrade we previously mentioned would be a stronger version of the hunter's crossbow and be able to use the new bolts crafted from the sunlight antelope's horns. Up next we've got hunter pouches, which would be upgradable sacks that can store meat and furs gained from hunter. The final versions of these pouches would be able to hold up to 28 of each of their respective storage amenities. We'd also like to improve the current Larupia, Grark and Kayat Hunter outfits by giving them an increased value of damage reduction against hunter creatures and making them slightly lighter to fit their sneaky theming. Last but not least, we'd like to offer you a hunter alternative to the tackle box, which would allow you to store all your hunter gear in an easy and convenient manner. That's a wrap on the Hunter Guild and all of its features. We're updating the news post in response to your feedback, so click the link in the description to find out the latest information. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.